amazing thing about Nigeria is the collective crews we always create out of every situation, especially on social media. No matter how unpleasant a government policy sounds, we would always, always find a way to create humor out of it. Welcome to NT Trends, I am Shion Bankole. Now, NYSE has been trending on social media since yesterday for two reasons. First was this statement credited to the NYSE Director General, Brigadier General Shuaibu Ibrahim. In reaction to calls for the scrapping of the NYSE scheme, he stated that core members are part of the national defense policy of Nigeria and can be mobilized for war if need be. Listen to this. So now, apart from that, core members are on reserve. They are part of the national defense policy of this country. So where there are serious war, our core members are there, they are well educated, they are knowledgeable, they can be trained. We can imagine within a short week, three weeks in the orientation uh, camp, and the core members are molded. They are like soldiers. You see the drill and so on. You see a female core member blowing army bugle, playing military band. And so if not for the knowledge, I wonder where, where are you going to mobilize such young uh, Nigerians to train them quickly to put in their best for their country. So core members are on national uh, they are on reserve. They're also part of the national defense policy and their parents should teach also their, their children the spirit of patriotism. Now that statement sparked various hilarious reactions by Nigerian trips. While that was still going on, Governor Shei Makide of Oyo State, in his visit to the NYC Permanent Orientation Camp at Isengi, promised to increase the monthly allowance of core member seven in the Southwest State from 5,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira. Let's now see some reactions to the trending hashtag NYSC on Twitter. First, we have this very hilarious meme of this boy receiving his gift and um, at gender one says, collecting your alawi with one leg after the war and he's squeezing his face like... <laughs> Alright, moving away to the next tweet. At Samuel Mba posted this picture of a core member raising his voice and screaming and he captioned it, when you open your NYSC kit and see gone instead of torchlight. <laughs> Alright, moving to the final one on that. Monitoring spirit at Sonjo. Kuto says, NYC DG should better put first class graduates in the war front. They brought it upon themselves. <laughs> now that's his opinion. Away from that, commercial banks and mobile network providers have started charging customers a flat rate of 6 naira 98 kobo per transaction. This is charged every time they use the Unstructured Supplementary Service Data Service, that is the USSD. This follows the announcement made in March by the Central Bank and NCC after network providers threatened to withdraw their service from banks as the accumulated 42 billion Naira debt remained unpaid. Reacting to this hike, at Fatim's 12 put out this tweet that reads, so, hashtag USSD brought his own wala from Nigeria into this, our own United African Republic. Hey, God. <laughs> Moving away from that, at GCFR MEG says, or more, I wanted to recharge yesterday with USSD. I saw that they want to charge me six naira for airtime of 200 naira. I canceled it and resolved to buy in paper card. Hmm. Finally, on that, Gabriel Ajiboye says, USSD has helped us to achieve our cashless policy. Now you want to collect six naira 98 kobo per transaction. Just say you want to take us backward. Finally on NC Trends, former Nigerian militant commander, Chief Government Ekpe Mukolo, alias Tompolo, last Sunday issued a seven-day ultimatum to President Buhari and Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, God's Will Akwabio, threatening to blow up oil installations in the Niger Delta if, uh, if the NDTC board is not immediately constituted. In a quick move to dialogue, Niger Delta Affairs Minister Godswill Akwabio went to the creeks today in company of the NDDC sole administrator, Mr. Akwa F. Young, the Deputy Governor of Delta State, Kingsley Otuaro, and top military officers, and he promised to fast track the process of the constitution of the new NDDC board. Let's see what people are saying online. We have this tweet from Chief Kachi. Come to realize that federal government understands one language and that is violence. That's why they will answer the call of a wanted man, Tom Polo, than listen to peaceful protesters asking nicely. That's why they will appeal to kidnappers and terrorists and shoot at protesters. Moving away from that, Strawberry tweeted, Now that Akwabio knows where Tom Polo is, let him help PSC with the location now. Nah. I mean, since Tom Polo has been declared wanted by the federal government. Finally on that, we have the tweet from at Joseph Ononaye. When average citizens protest against bad governance, the government sends security forces and thugs after them. When sheer criminals threaten the government, they pay court visit to these criminals. How pathetic. Anyways, drop a comment on Twitter at New Central TV to air your thoughts on any of the topics. It's a wrap this week on NC Trends. I'm Shion Bankale and I'll see you again next week.